Hi everybody, it's Mora Sherry. Mora Sherry is going to read you guys a story today. I want you to stay tuned and find out exactly what it is. Okay, boys and girls, the book we're reading today is called Dinosaur Goes to Israel. Hmm, I wonder what this book is all about. I see a suitcase on the cover. I see a map. I see a camera and I see a book and a compass. Let's see what happens. I'm leaving for a visit to Eretz Yisrael. Dino begs to come along. He's wiggling his tail. I think he's excited. We climb aboard the airplane. He takes three seats and more. He must be very comfy. The whole plane hears him snore. Wow, he took up the whole aisle. When we land in Tel Aviv, our cousins take us home. Todaraba, I thank them. Dino says, Shalom. I know that some of you know what Shalom means. It means hello or it means goodbye. We drive around the city and Dino sees the sand. He begs to, to, to get out at the beach, his buckets in his hand. What do you guys like to play with when you go to the beach? Do you like to use a shovel and a bucket? Do you like to build sand castles? Israel is full of beautiful beaches. For lunch, we eat falafel, yummy, with salad, chips, and pickles. I wipe some dribbles off his chin. He laughs and says, it tickles. Have you guys ever eaten a falafel? Let's see where he goes next. Our next stop is Jerusalem, Yerushalayim, and Dino is so tall. He tucks his message way, way up atop the Western Wall. Have any of you ever been to the Kotel? The Western Wall is the Kotel, and that's where the Jewish people go to say their tefillah. Dino stops to chat with camels as we hike around a lot. He invites them to go snorkeling, but they say they'd rather not. Camels live in a lot because it is so, so hot over there. I ride up Mount Masada. Dino hikes the snaky path. We cool off at the Dead Sea. He enjoys a warm mud bath. The Dead Sea is a special sea that is full of so much salt and anything that goes in there floats right to the top, even people. Our last stop is the busy shuk. The shuk is a marketplace. To buy a souvenir, Dino picks up a shofar to blow on the new year. Do you guys remember when we blow the shofar on which holiday? That's right, on Rosh Hashanah, we blow the shofar. And when we're finally home again, Dino starts to wail. When can we go back again to Eretz Yisrael? Do you think he's crying because he's happy or sad? I think that he's happy that he got to go to Eretz Yisrael, but he's sad that he had to leave. The end.